everyone. How are you doing? My name is Brigida Toruño. Welcome to Uno Souls Chat. As we are all adjusting to this greatly changed societal situation, I've been called to chat with Uno Souls. And there are people that are beacons of light in our community. We want to connect all of us together in hope, courage, and love. I am honored to be chatting today with Katie Gone, an Uno Soul. She is a drummer and drum circle facilitator who provides drumming for wellness programs for all populations in the DC area. Welcome, Katie. Thank you, Brigitte. It's good to be here. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, tell me, Katie, how have you been coping through these surreal times? Well, I'm hanging in there, and I hope that we're all hanging in there. Yeah. Um, it took a while to adjust, but um, I think I have. And uh, I think the biggest change has just been slowing down. So, you know, drumming in person has not been happening. And uh, I was very busy with doing events before the pandemic, but now that's not happening so much. So I was able to pivot and uh, fortunate to have another um, job. So that's been taking up a lot of my time as I've been working from home. So I'm home a lot more and I'm a relatively new homeowner. Um, oh. August, 2019, yeah. I purchased where I live. So I'd, I've really been enjoying this time to, you know, really be at home, beautify my home, uh, I've become a gardener, which I love. Oh, wonderful. I've, I've become a birder with bird feeders and cooking. Oh. So I've really taken this time to, you know, take just, you know, take the space to really nourish just being at home. Yeah, that's that's wonderful. And I, I think that it's little things like that that bring us joy that make can make such a difference in our lives, right? To do the gardening. Uh -huh. you know, to, to watch the, the birds at the bird feeder. Um, I know for sure, for me, that makes such a difference in my life. Yeah. It's just the little things every day to that you, I now have the time to notice a lot more yeah. and that helps with the monotony yeah. of everything else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Katie, I was very lucky to meet you. I want to say, uh, three or four years ago, mm -hmm. and you were running um, a drumming retreat, which I think you you had been doing up until COVID every summer through Rolling Ridge Retreat in mm -hmm. West Virginia, right? Yes. And I was very lucky that Leah Rampey, who's a good friend of mine and her husband, Dave Rampey, told me about your drumming retreat and I had never drummed and I was hanging out at, in their home and they had a little djembe drum. And every time I would go there, I would, I would just touch it and play with it. <laughs> so I, this must have been a month or two before the retreat. And they're like, Brigida, you know, someone we know, Katie, she's wonderful. She's gonna be running a weekend retreat for drumming. I was like, oh, you're kidding. I was so excited. So, so that's where I met you and it was such a great experience. I mean, I just, I just loved everything about that weekend. And I think part of it is, you know, um, my mother was a musician and so I never really got the, her brilliant musical skills. I can dabble in the piano a little bit, a little on the guitar, uh, but I just, I just don't have the, the artistic talent that, that she did. And so, I mean, that I could just fiddle with the drum. Oh, that made me so happy to have a whole weekend of like creativity. Oh yeah. Well, I think drumming is accessible to everyone and we've been doing it uh, as long as we've been in our mother's wombs. I mean, the first experience we have is of our mother's heartbeat. Mm. So think of that. We are we are just formed in rhythm. We know the pulse of the heartbeat. 
And then when we come out, we're usually banging on things, right? <laughs> so, but most of us are then, we kind of hold it in and forget about it and move on with our lives. But some of us realize that, oh, wait, we can play music with drums. And one of the reasons that I love what I do is that um, everybody can drum. Everybody can drum. And we know it. So all I have to do is give them the instrument and, you know, give them a little bit of, a little bit of instruction, but you really don't need that much. And right. then uh, you can just let people, you know, use the instrument, which is an ancient tool of communication and connection yeah. to express themselves non-verbally. And my job is to kind of shape it, to allow it to become more of a musical experience rather than chaos. Right. So, yeah. And, and you are just, such a kind person, very compassionate. It just comes through with um, how you facilitate a group, how you make everybody feel like they belong and you make everybody feel like, uh, like, like they know how to drum, you know, and, and no matter what level you are. So, so that was a beautiful thing for me. And so I feel so lucky that I got to experience um, doing the drumming on, on my djembe drum, which I bought for that retreat. And I, and I love my djembe drum. It's what I, I have used ever since. Um, so yeah, you really make people feel at home, I want to say, and like, like they belong. So, so thank you for that. Well, thank you. And what I love about that retreat is uh, it's called Sound and Silence. So not only is it a drumming weekend, but we also give you a very, you know, spacious afternoon of silence, because I think it's really important for us to, um, I, when I offer drumming for wellness, I tell people, you're tuning in so that you can tune up. Mm, but you need to tune in. Right. I mean, we're, we live in such a busy world that we tune in all the time to so much information. But when you can kind of give yourself silence and tune in to just the rhythms of nature, you know, in a beautiful retreat setting, then you can kind of slow down and start tuning into your own rhythms, your heartbeat, your breath. And then when you can like allow yourself that quiet time and that quiet space, then I believe that then you, when you start interacting again and like using the drum, that you um, can then tune up, tune up your heart, tune up your body, mm. tune up your mind, tune up your soul. So that's the intention of that weekend. That's one of the many things I do, but I'm really glad that you got to experience it. And I'm hoping that we will be able to start that up again maybe this fall or next year. Right. Yeah, that would be great. And yeah, thank you for explaining that. And, you know, I'm a, <clears throat> a long time meditator. I've meditated for 28 years. So the stillness part of it is something that comes almost inherently to me now. I, I wake up every morning and I automatically go to that, that place of quiet. Um, and so, but there's nothing like that weekend to mix the quiet, the stillness, the beauty of nature, along with the rhythm um, of, of the drumming. And, and there was chanting too, and singing, and in, to be among the trees. Oh, oh, it was really, really something I'll never forget. <laughs> yeah, I miss it. And kayaking in the morning. Oh, oh yeah, I didn't do that. I, um, I'll have to try it next time. <laughs> yeah, I know, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's such a beautiful area. The Rolling Ridge uh, Retreat area is, is beautiful. I, I can't wait till they can start to open and offer their retreats there again. Yeah, me too. Yeah. So tell us, um, I'd love to hear, how did you get started with drumming? Well, I started as an adult. Oh. I was actually um, a senior in college and had a friend who had a band and he had a woman playing percussion in the band. And I was just like, it was like life changing. <laughs> and I, after college, I was living in DC and a fr another friend introduced me to the Meridian Hill drum circle, mm -hmm. also known as the Malcolm X drum circle. And I have attended that. That's a DC 
it's an it's a staple it's been going on for like 50 years at this point is it 50 wow and it's changed a lot now you go and it's totally different from when i started in 97 like now it's like yoga and circus arts and all this stuff but in the 90s it was just like core group of drummers and you know i was i was very welcomed but at the same time it was like you know i really it was it was quite actually a um, honor that here I am, this like young white girl, and I'm hanging out with all these, you know, Afro Cubans and African Americans, and like these guys were pl Africans. These guys were playing, and they welcomed me, and I yeah. was dancing around, but they gave me the bell, and, like, <laughs> right. that bell. and I'm like, I want to play the bell. I want to play the drums. Like you got to play the bell first, and that was. <laughs> first thing I that was my first step and that just was this one step of many that's taken me all over the place wow to a drum to then become a drum circle facilitator to now training drum circle facilitators so yeah. it's a pretty amazing journey that's wonderful now uh, Katie I know that you do some wonderful things for the community and I believe you're in Maryland right mm -hmm. Yeah, and and I, yeah. Greenbelt, Maryland. Yep. And I remember, um, you know, at the beginning of COVID when, you know, we had shut down and, you know, it was a scary time. You know, we, we didn't know how long it would last. It was, it was just a scary time. So I know all the drumming circles, they, they shut down because of course, social distancing really what couldn't happen at that time either. But um, in, in the bigger areas, but you you did something beautiful where you did Facebook Live. Sometimes I think it was just you that would go out and drum and you filmed yourself. And it was so nice to hear your drumming, mm. like, you know, the, the familiarity of it, you know, it was made, it made me feel good. And then sometimes you had some people social distance in your backyard with masks and you did a, um, a little drumming circle. Can you tell us a little bit about that and, and maybe even a little explanation of what a drumming circle is? Right, well, that's a good, yeah, that's a good point. So um, a drum circle is, uh, it's a gathering of people who come together to use drums to express themselves. And it's a rhythmic expression um, but it can be deeper than that. You can, you know, you can really release feelings on the drum. You can, um, you can play rhythms. You can just like make noise. But if people really listen to one another and like play together on the beat, then music emerges because we all just start coming together and and drum. I'll do a little drummer right here. Oh, wonderful! So then, Thank you. And I'll I'll play, and then at home, just clap along, snap along, tap along. You can play your body, and as you start to just listen and respond to this sound of the drum, that's a drum circle. Wonderful. So One, two, let's all play. I just love that. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. Well, I was really proud of the drum circle community. In the early days of the pandemic, we just saw everything we knew disappearing. Yeah. And it was scary and nobody knew how long this was going to be. I mean, do you remember those early days? We thought oh. it was weeks, then months. Yeah. Now we're looking at a whole year and yeah. maybe longer, right? Yeah. But there were a few members of our community, and I'm going to really lift up Christine Stevens, who's mm -hmm. somebody you, you guys might want to check out. She is a music therapist and drum circle facilitator with Upbeat Drum Circles. Oh. She, she'd been offering online courses. Okay. So she kind of rallied the community to say, listen, this is not the end of your world. 
but you do need to learn how to take what we do and move it online. Mm. And we did like, we just showed up in like those first three or four weeks and we're like, okay, how does zoom work? How do you get zoom? What do you do with sound? Like we just, all of us as a community, just like really supported one another. And those were the days of the Facebook lives. Do you remember the like first few weeks? Everybody was on Facebook live. Yeah. So I felt called as I was learning that, wait a minute, you can use online as a way to support community and build community. I was inspired by the, um, what was happening in Italy where they were coming out at six o'clock to sing every day when they, cause oh, they were in lockdown. Right. Yeah, that was beautiful. So I was like, well, I'm going to go out and drum every day. And I was like, I live in a, a like a, a, I live in a town home. Like, so there's, there's, I've got neighbors, but I was fortunate that I was the only one in five houses. So I was like, I'm going to take advantage of this. So I started coming out in my yard at six o'clock every day and drumming. And, and then I started putting it on Facebook live. So mm -hmm. it was, and people started like friends would just show up at six and be like, are you doing it? I'm here. I need this. And it just became a way for a lot of us to just to cope and get through those those early times of like, what is going on? And just trying to have some kind of semblance of normalcy. And I think that's what's so powerful about the drum. It's, it's that heartbeat, but it's also just that grounding. It's a very grounding force. Yeah. And I know that me drumming, not only for people who are listening online, but even the community, my neighbors would just have something to really, you know, to just really help them just kind of ground and accept. Yeah, that, that makes a huge difference. Um, Katie, would you be able to, to do just a little bit of that heartbeat for us with the drum? Mm -hmm. So this is a djembe, everybody. Yeah. It's a nice, small djembe and I'm, Playing it in a non-traditional way, just so you guys can see it on the screen. Thank you. So just, you know, the heartbeat rhythm is probably one of the oldest rhythms on the planet. Our ancestors absolutely knew this. And we know it too. It's in our bodies. So it's just in your, in your mind, just think of the words and say the words silently. Heartbeat. 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 And as you hear this, become aware of the rhythm of your breath. And the rhythm of your heart. And let yourself settle into this moment. Oh, that's wonderful. It's such a, uh, you know, from, from the manner that you play it, it, it's, it's easy. It's something that definitely a beginner can, can do that movement with their hands. And yet it's so meaningful, you know, to just, you know, um, what's, what's the word when everybody sort of gets to the same beat? It's when we train and train. Mm -hmm. I had never heard that word till the weekend I did the retreat. Right. <laughs> well, that's, that's to me the most uh, powerful aspect of drumming together. So entrainment is a law of nature 
that when there are uh, opposing rhythms in proximity or multiple rhythms in proximity to one another, they will all entrain to the dominant rhythm. Mm. So there's a wonderful video on YouTube that you can find of metronomes, which are the timekeepers for music. Mm -hmm. And they're all in different rhythms. And there's like 50 of them all going at their own <laughs> rhythm. And then within two minutes, <coughs> they're all together. Oh, interesting. That's entrainment. Um, so entrainment is, it's just a law of nature. It happens. It happens all the time. So we are rhythmic beings. We have a heartbeat we have the rhythm of our breath. So we entrain to rhythms around us. Mostly we do this unconsciously. So you entrain, a great example is if you're exercising and you, you wanna work out, you'll probably listen to fast music. Mm -hmm. If you wanna relax to get ready for sleep, you'll probably listen to slower music. Mm -hmm. Why do we do that? Because our bodies entrained to that rhythm. So when you bring a awareness to this, there's a it's it's a very powerful organizing principle. Mm -hmm. And when you can um, start to choose which rhythms you entrain to, and it's not just rhythms, we can entrain to emotions as well. So think about you're in a room and somebody walks in and they're really in a great mood and it's like infectious, right? Mm -hmm. And you feel that and you feel uplifted. Well, the opposite is also true. If somebody comes in and they're like really angry, right? Yeah. So you gotta be careful. How does it feel when you watch the news every day? Yeah, which you're is why I don't watch the news every day. <laughs> So anyhow, that's entrainment, but it happens, it has to happen in drum circles. If it doesn't happen, then you probably need a drum circle facilitator there to help. Yeah. <laughs> Give you a beat. That's but right. That, that's my job really is to like, let people know where the beat is. Either I'm going to do it with my body or I'm going to use the drum or I'm going to have a bell that people will hear. And that's, that's the rhythm they're going to entrain to. Yeah. And then you can really start to, you feel in the groove with one another. You feel connected and you feel in sync. Now, mm -hmm. you can also entrain without a drum circle facilitator, but you're going to have to really be mindful and listen to one another and let yourself really kind of get that group, like that group mind to then come into the same groove. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, it does. And I, I know that it, it's a powerful feeling when, you, you hear the whole group in, in that same rhythm. It's, it's a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, Katie, I know that you've done some, some great things with groups. I know partly like the National Cathedral, again, pre-COVID. Uh, pre and also just recently you did something called Drumming for Peace. Mm -hmm. It was on January 5th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> it's a little bit of asthma because um, I had this heater on and it's, uh, <coughs> I don't have COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Sorry. Okay. He's going to have to do a lot of cutting. I'm sorry, Steve. <laughs> hey, Steve. Do you need um, some water? Yeah. Oh, I do have some water. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So you've done some beautiful things with, um, in the community, like pre-COVID, you did some things with the National Cathedral. And very recently, in January of this year, you did something called Drumming for Peace on DC streets um, on January 5th. Um, well, I would love it if you could if you could talk to us about that. I, I did participate and attended the January 5th drumming and it was so powerful, just a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank you. 
Well, um, I have learned how to take the drum circle experience and move it onto Zoom. So it's a very different experience. It's a different kind of drum circle. <laughs> but I've learned that uh, you can still connect using Zoom and music. So um, I felt, call I part of my history is um, I was a, uh, an activist in the you know 2000s using the drum on the streets with a group called the Rhythm Workers Union and we would drum at marches and and this was leading up to the second Iraq war and we saw that when we we had this thing called the mother drum ship which was like this huge like moving Dr. Seuss drum mobile that had these big drums and we would play the drums and it would just bring joy Mm -hmm. so there'd be so many different emotions out there but we would play the drums and again they were in training to our beats and it would bring joy so fast forward this year we saw that there was just so much unrest in our country and i saw it in dc especially broke my heart to go down downtown and see just so many boarded up businesses just mm -hmm you know, preparing themselves for some kind of violence. And we saw that there was violence in the streets in November when there was, um, you know, rallies to stop the steal and all that stuff. So when I knew that they were coming back in January, I just, I just wanted us to gather to drum and just kind of offer, you know, vibrations of peace prayers of peace using the drum and using zoom so this was january 5th and my whole intention in doing this was sort of like bringing the rhythm workers union energy back but using zoom because it's in the middle of pandemic and they're telling us to not go downtown anyhow that's right so we gathered online and there was quite a response when i put this out on facebook like 80 people responded yeah um so people clearly saw the need and we and we gathered to do that. And then the next day they, you know, broke into the Capitol. So I, I really felt naive after that. But at the same time, I was like, you know, my intention was to, to like keep peace on the streets for the citizens of DC. I never in a million years thought that what happened would have happened. And I just think we all learned a lot from that day. But yeah, <clears throat> we really did. But I, I do feel that it was such a powerful session that in a way, you know, things could have even been worse. And I think that we did send out some, you know, with your guidance and leadership, we sent out some, some good vibrations out there. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just, I know the power of the drum. I mean, when you hear it, you feel it. Because literally, it's sound waves, it's vibrations. When you're in a drum circle setting, you can rest your hands on the drum head when everybody else is drumming and feel the vibrations. I do this at, in, in the work with seniors, and I always make it part of a birthday blessing if I do birthday drum circles because you feel those vibrations, right? Yes. So I'm always inviting positive vibrations. So it is real, it goes yeah. out there. I, yeah. So, but um, maybe we needed more. <laughs> <laughs> maybe started it a, a month before every and every <laughs> night. <laughs> yeah, my work cut out for me. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this year I've offered Black Lives Matter drum circles on Zoom. Uh, I did a Martin Luther King um, Day drum circle for peace on Zoom. Oh, wonderful. I've done um, online drum circles for the summer solstice, winter solstice, and the um, autumn equinox. Okay. And I'll do another one coming up in March for the spring equinox. Oh, okay, good. So so we can follow. Do you have a separate Facebook page? Um, mm -hmm. Uh, what what what's the name of that? Uh, it's drumming for wellness and okay. my name. So Katie gone drumming for wellness. Okay, okay, perfect. So that people can follow who would like to do mm -hmm. the drumming themselves in their homes on Zoom. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. I, I show you what to do to how to get sounds, 
and we we play we always play a few games we do some warm-ups and then we drum we drum but everybody's muted and we drum to like a recorded track or drum to me and then we um we always have like a dance party <laughs> oh i know it's wonderful that's great yeah so so any of the viewers or their listeners who want to do that um please look up katie at drumming for wellness mm -hmm. um and Katie, I, I'm just so grateful that you took the time to, to chat with me. And this has been so informative. And I mean, it's really like music therapy, right? To, to be able to do, uh, to participate in a drumming circle. It's, it's, for me, what I have found is that it's, it's been very healing. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, just, I just feel like I get transported, you know, to this other world and that there's not a care in the world. <laughs> Well, drumming actually does relax you because mm -hmm. when we drum together, um, the right and left hemispheres of our brain actually engage. Oh. And that does not usually happen okay. in your everyday life. It just doesn't happen. There's only a few activities where both hemispheres connect. Oh, I see. Drumming is one of them. So when, it, when that happens, energy is flowing. It's, it's, it also happens when you're running and you get into that kind of r the zone. Yes. Drumming puts you into the zone, which allows your body to relax. It also helps reduce stress because you're able to release pent up energy. You're banging on things, which feels good. Mm -hmm. uh, drumming um, supports wellness also by when you drum together, your body creates more T cells and T cells fight disease. Oh. So it boosts your immune system, which is so important in these yes. times, right? Yes, absolutely. And drumming allows you to connect with others. So yes. it's that heart to heart connection. And when you drum together, you really do like your heartbeats start beating in sync in a group of people. It happens. Yeah. So there's a lot of different things that are going on and there's evidence to back this up. There are so many studies now because I mean, our ancestors knew about this. This is ancient technology, but now it's getting a whole new lens through the scientific community. Mm -hmm. And you can find drumming in all settings. You can find it in hospitals. You can find it in rehabilitation, in recovery, in assisted living, in senior centers, in schools. I mean, it goes on and on and on and on. So I feel very, we, we um, my, my teacher is Arthur Hall. He's the grandfather or the godfather of the facilitated drum circle movement worldwide, nice. worldwide. Wow. He's trained thousands and thousands and thousands of people. Oh. And I've trained with him and now I'm one of his trainers. So if you want to do this, let me know and I'll, I'll teach you how to be a drum circle facilitator, but he, yeah, his, I, might, I might do it. <laughs> his term for what we do is rhythm care provider. And okay, that really, I like that. Really sums it up. It really does. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Katie. I was wondering, could you leave us with some words of wisdom? Hmm. Be grateful. Mm. Think, uh, there's. We know there's a lot of challenges in the world, but look for the things that you're grateful for. Look for beauty in your life every day yeah. and, um, and, and, and train to that. Become That's aware cool. of your surroundings and, and train the attitude of gratitude. Right? Oh, yes, exactly. That's wonderful. Thank you so much, Katie. This is a time to be gentle with ourselves. It's a powerful time to love each other, to unite, and to live in peace. Thank you so much for joining me, Katie. I honor the light in you. I honor the light in you. And thank you for letting me be part of your community. I hope we can drum together in person soon. I would love that. I can't wait for that. Thank you. Thank you so much for listening to Uno Souls Chat. You can find us at www.unosouls.com and on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I would love to hear from you if you would like to chat with me. Have a beautiful week and see you at the next episode.